On Sunday, the president lashed out at Democrats less than a day after he tried to coax them toward accepting a deal that would end a partial government shutdown. That is our plan. Border security, DACA, TPS, and many other things. On Saturday, Trump offered what he called a plan to break the deadlock. He would lift the threat of deportation for certain undocumented immigrants if Democrats agreed to his unwavering demand for $5.7 billion for a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. But he was careful not to call it a wall. This is not a 2,000-mile concrete structure from sea to sea. These are steel barriers in high-priority locations. Democrats quickly panned the deal. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called it, quote, a compilation of several previously rejected initiatives. Democrats maintain that a physical barrier is expensive and ineffective and that Trump promised Mexico would pay for it. And they insist Trump reopen government before they negotiate over government spending. Democrats and Republicans agreed on a funding bill last month, but Trump refused to sign it without money for a wall. I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck. While he may have felt his Saturday night offer projected reconciliation. Fair, reasonable, and common sense with lots of compromise. By Sunday, Trump had changed from conciliatory to adversarial. On Twitter, he attacked House Speaker Nancy Pelosi as a radical Democrat, saying she'd lost control and telling her to clean up the streets in San Francisco. They are disgusting. Trump also faced a backlash from some anti-immigrant supporters who called his offer amnesty. To them, Trump appeared to respond, no, amnesty is not part of my offer. Trump says a wall is needed to end what he calls a national security and humanitarian crisis at the border. Government data show illegal border crossings are near record lows. Meanwhile, the shutdown is a growing crisis for many American families. Over the weekend, food pantries opened their doors to federal government workers furloughed by the shutdown or forced to work without pay. When they come in, they're so profoundly grateful because most of these folks have been steadily employed and have really never had to ask for help before. These include National Weather Service workers in Oklahoma. We're going to keep providing these distributions throughout the furlough. NASA employees in San Francisco and TSA workers nationwide. Sunday marks the two-year anniversary of Donald Trump's inauguration. From this day forward, a new vision will govern our land. And the 30th day of the partial shutdown, the longest in the nation's history.